Hey guys, Proper English here. Back when I was first working on the GPU project, I had an idea for a modified box drawer that could render shapes that are a bit more complex than those of a normal box drawer. And so what we've got here is a circuit that can take an input of any number of corner points and render an image based on those corners. And what I'm displaying right now is a good example of what this circuit is capable of. We can take a quick look beneath to see the full array of all of these cells. And what we'll do now is we'll take a look at an individual line of cells and see exactly how this thing works. In spite of the complexity of the shapes that this thing can render, the logic actually isn't too bad. So. Let's take a look at that. All right, so I've extracted a few cells and we can use this setup to understand how this thing works. The first thing to take a look at is how we're keeping these pixels off. And what does that is this torch right here. So if I flip this lever, all of the pixels will turn on. All right, so what's happening is this torch gets sent through this entire row of cells and it keeps this torch off so that we don't get a pixel turning off. And we've got the same sort of setup going in the perpendicular direction, but we're not going to worry about that for now because we can learn about how this thing works by just using this one row. We don't need the whole thing. And so the next thing I'll do is I'll turn this lever on. So right now we're going to say that this is a corner point. Okay, so we're turning this on to indicate that that's a corner and this cell turns on. But everything beyond that cell also turns on. And the reason that happens is because when I flip this lever, what's happening is we're powering the B input for this comparator over here the one that's set to subtract back there, so that this signal can no longer proceed through, and now it's no longer turning all of these cells off. Now, because these cells aren't receiving an input over here, they're in a different state than this cell over here. So let's take a look. We've got this wire coming through, all right? and it comes through to this repeater over here. Now, this repeater is holding another comparator off, and that's going to be important for our next step. When you look at this cell over here, because the previous cell got an input, and we don't have that control line coming through here, this comparator is not receiving that B input, and so if it gets an A input over here, it's going to turn on. And when it turns on, it's going to turn off all of the cells beyond it. So let's skip this one cell over here and we'll turn this one on as if it's another corner point. And so let's follow where these torches go. We've got this one turning off, this one turning on, all right? And that goes to the A input of this comparator over here. So now what we're doing is we're starting up this signal again and when we fly up here we can see that now only these three cells are on. Alright so now the cells downstream of the second cell over here are back to that original state. So let's actually turn this lever off and we'll move it back one cell. Alright so now we should only have two cells on up here. And so now let's say that Let's pretend that this shape is going in this way and then it's coming back over here, making another turn and we want this to be another corner point. So when I come down here and I flip this lever, because this guy has an on signal over here, this comparator is held off, this comparator is also held off so these cells that are downstream of this cell that just got the input are going to turn on. And there we go. Now we've skipped this one. So you can imagine we've got our corner, another corner, 
come through here to a corner and back to this guy over here. And so that is how we're drawing these complex shapes. It gets a little bit trickier when you do this in both directions, but really it's the same exact thing. So I'm gonna set up a small array and we can take a look at that. All right, so let's follow an example using this eight by eight array of these fancy box drawer cells. We'll start with a corner point over here, if I can get into this lever. And you can see that now, because we've turned that corner point on, we've got a line going this way and a line going this way. And that's because we've got these two control lines and what I've done is I've turned the control lines off beyond this cell. So you can see that in this direction, all of these control lines are off. And down here, in this direction, we've got the same thing going on. All right, and so I should point out that I've used a NAND gate to control this output over here. So we've got one input over here. So if this guy's on, the output can be on. And if this guy's on, the output can be on. The only time that the output is off is when both of these torches are being turned off. All right, so a NAND gate. Now let's add a second input over here. And so now what we've done is we've drawn the first side of our fancy box, all right? And so what happens is now what we're doing is we're turning the signal back on beyond this new corner point. And down here, what we've done is we've turned this control line off. And that's why we're seeing a line of cells going in this direction. So let's stop that. I'm going to break through over here and we'll make this cell a new corner. So now what's happened is we've diverted our signal in this direction. And so what happened is we turned the control line back on going over here and we've now turned it off going over here. And so let's do a couple more of those. We'll fly down here, make another corner point. All right. And so what we've done now is we've blocked it going this way and unblocked it going this way. And so we can do another corner over here I can find the lever, it's kind of buried in here. All right, so this time something weird has happened, right? So what we're seeing is the line going this way, the side of our new shape turning this way rather than this way. That's because this cell is not a corner point. So the control line over here is on, all right? And so it changes the state of this cell over here, all right? So it's turning things off beyond this cell. The way we can fix that is by coming over and creating another corner point over in our corner. And so what we've done now is because this is another corner point, this control line is off, all right? And the state of this cell is different. So now what's happening is instead of cutting off the signal down this way, what it's doing is it's turning it back on because this input was off and you can see that we've got this funky shape over here. And we can keep adding to this if we wanted to, but I think this is sufficient for our demonstration. I'm going to fly back up to the big array once more and I'll make one more fancy box and check that out in a second. All right, guys, so as I said, this is the circuit that's gonna control all of the box drawing and this more complex shape drawing that's going to go on in the GPU. So it's a major part of the rendering circuitry. 
The other two major components are the line drawer and the ellipse drawer. As I mentioned in the last video, the ellipse drawer is almost done. The line drawer is also almost done. I'm gonna make a few modifications. I figured out some new ways to make it faster, but once those three major components are done, then I can start assembling things. And that's gonna be a lot of fun because we're gonna get into some image processing and manipulation. So there's a lot of cool stuff to come. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of this project.